This is about strengthening the whole family. And I think more and more men are realizing that they can't just, they just can't pass off those responsibilities and they have to fight for these changes for themselves. This isn't a woman's issue by any stretch of the imagination. No, they realize. That's why when we first came in and people asked me what was my agenda when we first came into the White House and I said, it's making sure that my kids are whole. I thought I was being honest. I mean, some people judge me for that. But the truth of the matter was that whether I'm first lady and he's the president, our first job is to make sure that our kids are on point. That is the most important legacy we will ever leave. Mm -hmm. So that's why this issue is so important because employers have to know is that if family life isn't right, you know, if there's a worry, you know, if you don't think that you're leaving your child in good care, if they're not healthy and whole and happy, you're gonna bring that worry to work. And it's gonna eat away at what you're able to do. I don't care what you do, you know. You wait, as working families, don't you wake up every morning just praying that nobody's sick. Just don't be sick, my God. You know? Um, and, and that is my hope for today, that this is just the beginning of an important conversation that's going to continue for years and years to come until we're finally up there with other leading nations who've had um, amazing work family policies for a much longer time. There's no excuse for America to be following on this issue. We should be leading on this issue. Oh.